还是妈妈。Hey guys, so this is a video about some work that we have going on in the yard. But before we get started, in this video, there's a time when one of the workers is building up in spliff. And if you don't know what that means, go look it up. But to the person who can find the minute and the second of when the guy is building up his spliff, uh, send it to me in the comments. And the first person to tell me will get a free 30 minute coaching call. So watch closely guys, and let me know when you see it. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video about Camelot Village and Discovery Bay, St. Anne. I'm so excited that you're interested in this community. It's a great location and has a lot of opportunity for Airbnb and long-term rentals. So I'm offering a very exciting product specifically for the detached homes in Camelot Village for phase three, four, and five. So if you have a house that you're getting in any of those phases, I have put together an ebook on how to set up your Camelot Village home in one week. So if you've ever tried to get anything done in Jamaica, you know that is nearly impossible. But my husband and I were down in Jamaica about a month ago and did this. And I wanted to let you guys in on the insider secrets and how we went about getting a home set up very quickly. So this is ebook is going to include to-do lists, daily to-do lists, what you need to do each day and who you need to contact, how much things will cost, um, all the information you need to get your home set up. So this will include things like setting up your yard, getting a water tank, which is a big deal in Camelot Village because they're having some water issues over there. So getting that set up and installed your garbage bin and clothesline, getting your AC and fans set up. And then I always like to put in curtains because it just gives the place a nice look um, if you're going to take photos. So all those things will be included as well as some other things that we learned along the way. So if you guys are interested in this, there's a link in the description. Um, go ahead, get your ebook. You can set up your planning from now. I'm going to have a schedule of what you need to do before you go to Jamaica and then each day in Jamaica, what you need to do to get your house set up in one week, weather permitting. I will say that because when I was down there, there was a lot of rain. So weather permitting, you can get your home set up in one week and we can help you do that with this ebook. So if you're interested, click the link in the description and I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here at Camelot Village. I'm helping a subscriber set up their home. And this is just a panoramic view. It's the day before we go home. So we're trying to get some things sorted out. So here's the house here. We have our garbage bin in. We have landscaping, grass going in and plants. And the driveway has been fixed to some degree. The bottom part looks really nice. They smoothed this out. When we first came, it was very high, um, about four or five inches. So they fixed that up and smoothed it out. But they're working up here to do just a little work. So here they're just gonna smooth out the driveway to make it smoother. And seamless. Good afternoon. And then we had one mesh here, the screen they've taken out because it was a little bent at the bottom, so we're having that fixed. And here you can see we have more plants that are going to be going in. So that will look really nice. And they're going to fix up this part of the driveway as well. show you there's a lot of stuff going on in the back but I'm gonna show you some stuff they did inside real quick 
So they have the alarm system. We had some trouble with the, the wiring. Um, we had some trouble with, so they had to change that out. So they have fixed that and we are good to go. We set our code and so we know how it works um, so we don't set up the alarm and things like that. Um, let's see what else did they do. They were supposed to install mesh in the bathroom and yes they did. I can see it's in so it looks really good. So now we can open those shutters and we won't have problems with bugs. And then we'll check the back bathroom also. They were supposed to do that as well. And it looks good. So it's coming together. Like I said on one of the last videos, we got ACs and fans installed in every room. And one thing here, guys, at Camelot, um, it's kind of elevated it's up on a hill and we've come to understand from the other owners here and actually um, different people we've talked to said that the water supply can be an issue so what happens is either the system wasn't built to support all these houses or I think what's happening also is they're having trouble pumping the water up the hill to supply the houses so from what I've heard at times the water will go out for three or four days at a time um, and we've noticed a lot of the people who have already taken possession of their home in Camelot Village have the big black water tanks. So we decided to go ahead and get that installed so we don't have any interruption to the water supply. So I want to show you what we have done inside. Um, so here in the laundry area this switch here, I'm not gonna do it because they're actually working outside, but uh, this switch will enable the water tank that they're installing to provide water. So basically what happens is when um, the water supply goes out, you flip that switch and it switches from the water from the street to what is in the tank. And then when the water supply comes back, you can switch it off and then the tank will automatically fill up from the water supply from the street. So you should have you know, a full tank um, at all times for a backup, um, assuming that the water doesn't stay out for an extended time where you run out of water. So at that point, you would have to pay the truck to come deliver water. So um, yeah, let me show you what's going on outside. It's gonna be noisy because they're actually building a wall out back and doing just a lot. So it might be a little noisy, but I will kind of show you and then um, talk over it a little later. All right, guys, let's check it out. See what's going on back here. Um, they're building up that wall there. No, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> good. Um, they're building up that wall back there because this particular house is on the perimeter of the development. So um, we're lucky we get a back wall in this house. So um, they've been framing it up and then they pour the cement in. So they've been kind of delayed because we're here right, it was like a week ago. Um, the storm, I think it was Ian, came through, um, and they didn't really get the eye in the storm, but they got a lot of rain here. So it's kind of delayed a lot of these projects, um, outside projects that we have going on. It's been easier to get things done inside, but outside has been a bit of a challenge, I would say. I wanna show you guys next is the actual water tank. Um, so again, it's gonna be loud out there, so I'll just tell you a little before we go out. Um, Yesterday, we had somebody come and pour a cement foundation for the water tank, and then we had the electrician in yesterday 
to install the switch that I just showed you in the laundry area. And then today we have the plumber hooking up the tank, setting the tank, um, putting in the pump, and then also the water filtration system. So let's go take a look at that. It might be noisy out there, but uh, we'll see how it's going. So you're running the pipe from the street yeah. to catch the water from the street water yeah. and then it will fill it up yeah okay all right all right so they they dug a little trench here and they have piping that'll run from the street um, that'll bring water to fill up the tank so that you'll have a full supply and then when the water goes out you flip the switch and the laundry and then you have your water so as long as the water doesn't stay out for an extended time you should be good and then once you flip the switch when the, the street water comes back on then it'll fill the tank back up for the next time so that should work pretty well and then around this side we have some plants also that we're putting in. So we have to be careful with the landscaping because we have a lot of work with the driveway as you can see. And the piping for the water tank. So the landscaper is doing kind of stuff in the middle and around that. Um, because we don't want to put the landscaping in and then it get um torn out by the truck or something like that so yeah it's looking good it's coming along it's a lot of work <laughs> to put something together um so hopefully in a couple months you know all this will be installed fixed up and the yard will be um in a couple months time the yard will be looking really good um i think our yard looks pretty good compared to the neighbors <laughs> so um yeah it's coming along it just takes time so if you're getting one of these houses, just be patient with the yard. Um, when we got our Stonebrook house, the yard took a while to set up. And Junior, the same landscaper that is doing this house, did that house as well. And um, actually I have a video that I'm putting out of a drive through, through Stonebrook and you'll see the yards there are beautiful. Um, they really matured over the last year. So give it time, it'll, um, it'll come together. So as long as you have somebody good working on it. So, all right guys, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Take a show, mama.